Good morning. Breakfast is coffee from Bagpuss Squash. Then the faxi. Just made a start on lunch. In here I've got some peppers, cherry tomatoes, spring onions and cauliflower rice. I'm going to make a sort of burrito-y wrap type thing, I guess, using the other uh, Lodo base because I used one the other day for pizza. So, um, yeah, might add some bacon and some jalapenos and probably a bit of hot sauce. Yeah. So there you go, there's my wraps done. I did indeed add lettuce and bacon and some lovely sauce as well. So that is um, 219 calories and 9.9 .9 grams of carbs. Hello. Well, lunch was delightful, actually. That was really, really good. Like, I'd be so tempted to have that again for dinner, but without the wrap, maybe, because it didn't really need it. It just needed using up. But um, yeah, that was proper lush. Hmm. Anyways, I just had a delivery of this box. This is from, right, sweetvictoryproducts.co.uk and I saw on their Instagram that they were doing mystery boxes which worked out at £10.44 delivered so I thought well, let's give it a go so this is um, should all be low carb or keto or sugar free stuff that I can hopefully use some of it might be like short dated or um, that kind of thing because that's why the mystery box is so cheap so I have opened it as in I have undone the cellar tape but that's about it so we're going to take a look what's inside. We've got a little bit of bump. So the it was 4.99 for the actual box, 1.85 kilograms worth and then 5 pound 45 for UPS delivery. It's okay, 10 pound 44. So this is what we've got. I recognize a couple of things already. So let's get in. Right. So I don't think I can have this one, but they do sound really nice. Boundless activated snacking, chipotle and lime activated chips. Now, my mum will love these, so that's cool. I mean, they're not particularly high, high, high in carbs. It's just that it's not really something that I can have. Um, they are made from sprouted sorghum. Mmm, mm, tasty. Yellow pea flour, chipotle and lime flavour seasoning, rice flour, yada, yada, yada. But they do sound freaking delightful. I could even take them to the pub and let the boys and girls share them. Might do that. Um, quite low in calories as well. Per portion, 99 calories. 16.1 grams of carbs. A little on the higher side. But still, it's not like that's not going to get used. Trust me. That will get used, just not by me. Okay, cool. We have a low-carb bread mix. I do still have a lot of bread mixes from Lizza to use in there. Is it Lizza? No, it might be Dr. Almond. But anyway, I mean, oh, do you know what I haven't made in ages? I used to make like uh, sort of naan breads to have on my Indian. So I could see if it goes well with that. Um, made from golden flaxseed sour chick flour, chickpea flour, hemp seed protein, mixed seeds, psyllium husk powder, baking powder, and sea salt. Um, yeah, I could make like bread rolls. Yeah. So, I mean, that's cool. Again, it'll get used. It's just, you know, not right now. Right, not one of my favourite things. Again, I'll probably take this to the pub. Bill Tong. I don't think anybody particularly likes Bill Tong. I've never met anyone that likes Bill Tong. I know there's probably a lot of people out there that does. But still, it's made from Welsh beef. And per pack, it's 98 calories and 0.2 grams of carbs. Maybe I should just teach myself to like it because that is actually just a good snack. I'm going to teach myself to like that today. That is my plan. Hey, Shizuma. You okay, baby? Hi. I don't think there's anything in here for you, though. Sorry. I'm sorry. You have some crunch. Oh, was a favourite. Cheesies. Put them on salads, put them in your soup, have a snack. Bloody lovely. Always happy to see that. Really good. Diablo sugar-free sugar sweets. However, I think they have 
they do indeed they have the bad sweetener in it which is maltitol which is a real shame i don't know if it affects my blood sugar that bad um i can't imagine like a couple of bits is going to be awful but and also you know if they're sugar-free sweets they polyol so they evacuate quite quickly sometimes if you are um, prone to that but anyways they're okay just have one or two as a sweet thing that's fine but you wouldn't eat a load of them because of the maltitol which is a shame there's still loads left in here i'm quite surprised for 10 pound odd really good I've had one of these before. We've had these in the Crave kits before. These little sugar-free keto bombs. This is a peanut butter cup one, is it? Oh no, dark chocolate fudge brownie. Nice. Sort of like a peanut butter cup, but without the peanut butter. But they're quite nice. Um, I can never work out. Okay, it is 70 calories, but it's all in French, see? Nine grams of carbs for uh, erythritol, four grams. So it might be five grams of carbs. I don't know. I don't know how they work it out on these ones. But anyway, they are tasty. Got what looks, okay, this is quite bizarre. Got some body lotion, coconut body lotion. I don't think that's edible. I mean, they did say there could be anything in it. So, you know, fair enough. I'm quite happy to get that. That's quite cool. I like coconut stuff. Yeah, agree. I think there might be something else non-edible in there as well. Oh, that does smell nice though. Oh, that's look. I will be using that. That's really good. It's probably just been in their warehouse for a while, and they're like, "Yeah, shove that in." Yeah, cool. Thank you. This is the other thing. Oh, Epsom salts. Brilliant, actually. Quite happy with that. Mineral Wellbeing West Lab Reviving Epsom Salt helps relax aching muscles. Epsom Dust for sports and exercise because I obviously do a hell of a lot of that. Yeah, yeah, cool. Such a random box of stuff, isn't it? Um, got some more sugar-free sweets. These are cola bottles. And what do they have in them? Maltitol, again, not brilliant. I will take them to the pub probably and make other people eat them. I'm not a big fan of like these kind of sweets anyway, you know, like the Haribo type. I like, I like fizzy cola bottles, but I could definitely live my whole life without ever eating them again, to be honest. But there we are, but you know, yeah, so I'll take them take them to the pub. We've got some things wrapped up, which is cool. There's still another five things in there. Like this is a really good deal. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Now I saw these people, or at least some of their products at the Keto Food Festival that I went to. Oh, yum. Okay, so they're sugar-free sauces, fat, uh zero percent fat and added sugar um what are they made of then water modified starch inulin thickener, cellulose it, basically it's all like chemicals not chemicals but you know what i mean not real things um but they are low in calories per 15 mils is 12 calories oh no no sorry no three calories and 0.2 grams of carbs so this is a vanilla flavor sauce so i suppose you could put it on like berries and stuff or on uh jelly would be quite nice i guess and then a raspberry flavor one you could put in yogurt or with sparkling lemonade hmm. so there you go that's good we've got a fat bar I've got a couple of these in the um, in the cupboard, but that's cool. They are quite nice, very chewy. That one's probably one of the better flavors, caramel and sea salt. These ones are, again, they do it for 100 grams, which is annoying and I can't be bothered to work it out, but there we go. Um, 
Oh, we've got Justine's peanut butter choc chip pro protein cookie, keto friendly, 3.3 grams of carbs. Is that per? Servings per package one. Okay, 245 calories for the whole thing and 3.3 grams of carbs. Okay, it looks, it does look a bit dry but maybe it's more like a short bready type thing oh it's a whole cookie and i've just broken it in half it's a square cookie a squawky hmm. okay be interesting trying that that's a brand i've never heard of and then the last three things are all by the same company and i have had this stuff before and i have enjoyed it can never really work out whether it was proper keto friendly because they make it quite vague. But anyway, so I've got three bars of Pure Heavenly and it is beautiful. It is really lovely chocolate. Not really chocolate, I suppose it is. But it's dairy free chocolate, which is really good. So this is a 85 gram bar. This is the dark chocolate one. So per whole bar is 374 calories, 21 grams of carbs. But annoyingly, it doesn't tell you how much of that polyols. Because it says it's got sweeteners in it, which um, it's got erythritol in it. Which means that it would polyol, but we don't know how much. So that is very annoying. Very annoying. Because I reckon it probably is at least low carb. Anyway, so we've got the dark one, the banana one, not sure, that might be coming to the pub for other people to try, not sure about banana chocolate, and salted caramel flavour. Like, the ingredients are good, cocoa solids, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, rice, mm, soluble maize fibre, which means that you probably don't um, ingest it anyway, inulin, chicory fiber, sweeteners, erythritol, polydextrose, is isomalt and sucralose. Like again, it probably is okay. I just wish they would put on there how much of the sugars, um, polyols. But there we go. But on the whole, I'm really tough with that. So I've got the things that I will use. One, two, like they'll get eaten. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten things that I will probably eat. Eleven, like I will try, try that one. These which are useful, quite, thank you very much. And these things I shall give away to the people in the pub. I think that seems like a good plan, good, good plan. Right, there we go. I'm gonna go put a bunch of conditioner on my hair now and slather myself in uh, coconut lotion. Ooh. See you in a bit. So this is what I'm cooking tonight. It's basically the same as what I had for lunch, minus the peppers, but with added kale. Mm -mm. And it is 260 calories and can't remember the rest. Yep, 260 calories and 6.2 grams of carbs. So there you go, ready to eat, and I'm serving that like a classy lady with some Pepsi Max. This is my tasty dessert, that's some fire yogurt mixed with some of that um, vanilla cream stuff that I had in that box today, and then some fruit and yogurt on top, nom nom nom. So I'm gonna get in bed soon, watch that telly, and put on some movies. So these are gonna be my movie snacks, pack of these. And a pack of these, well, you know, that one that was in the thing from earlier. And it leaves me on, I think, 30 grams of carbs and 840 calories for the day. So that's me done. I'm off to feed lions tomorrow. Uh, bye bye now. Bye bye.